Hey, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. And you're watching In Depth. Or maybe Out of Our Depth? Could be. Next on Now You Know. All right, so this company, Jesse, Peloton, mm -hmm. what do they do? They make pellets. Oh, a ton of them. That, that's a ton that's, of pellets. That's what I gather from their name. Uh, no, actually, they are a convoy automation uh, company. So that sounds cool. It does sound pretty cool. It's something that I think Tesla is uh, pretty interested in. Wait, so this guy right here, he's a truck driver, he's getting into his truck, and then mm -hmm. he pushes this button. What does this button do? All right, so this button basically finds him another driver okay. that's driving, and then it, it, it the other driver can accept or not accept. Accept that what? The other driver will accept the, the driver who needs to catch up to start a convoy together. Oh, I see. So the first driver is being told to slow down just a tad. The other driver is being told to speed up just a tad. They're going to meet in a second. Mm -hmm. And then what happens? And then the driver in the rear can take his foot off the pedal and Ooh. basically it draft really close behind the other truck and it's being computer controlled. So therefore there's a huge savings. There's oh yeah. So it looks like the guy in the front gets a four and a half percent savings and the guy in the back gets 10%. Which is huge. That's huge. And Both of them are saving money. Yeah. Right. And it would be very difficult to do manually. Right. Because if you've ever tried drafting a truck manually, it is, it is a challenge. And also, you may not, like, so if you didn't have this connection, you would be driving up behind some truck that you hadn't talked to, and he may not want you to be drafting behind him, or he might right. be getting off the road soon. Right. This way, you're basically having communication with someone who's already going to do a long distance travel and you can then start, I guess it looks like they're CB rating each other, like where are you going, how long are you going to be on the road. And so any amount of time that they're traveling like that is saving them money for every minute they're doing it. Now, why would this be interesting to Tesla? Uh, Tesla wants to do their own convoy system. This works for diesel trucks. Right. Now, I mean, it, there needs to be some changes made to the truck. You can't just take any old truck, stick on this button. Uh, there has to it's be some kind of... Button. It's no, not like the easy button. No, you need a throttle control system hooked up. It's It's going to be pretty complicated to do on a diesel truck. The good thing about the Tesla truck is it already has autopilot. It already has oh. electrical control systems, very easy to hook up. There's no throttle valves that are, you know, adjusting the amount of diesel that's going into the engine and air and stuff like that. It's just, you're just saying, put more power into the engine. So when I first heard about convoys for Tesla trucks, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, well, if you're say Pepsi, who just bought, you know, a pre-ordered over a hundred trucks. Or UPS, which ordered hundred and... 25. Right. I thought, okay, one company would convoy three of their trucks. Right. But then I thought, that's probably not going to happen that you're ever going to ship that much Pepsi mm -hmm. to one place. But then, if this is true, you could take a UPS truck, a Pepsi truck, and a, you know, DHL truck, and they could all be convoying together. It doesn't They don't need to be the same company. And so one thing that I think would be interesting is that with the Tesla truck, you could probably draft behind a truck that didn't have any kind of tech on it at all. Right. Because you have autopilot and that keeps you oh, interesting point. well done or well, keeps you well spaced. Right. But a Peloton truck mm -hmm. who wasn't a Tesla truck, who was a diesel truck, could then draft behind your Tesla truck because he would have this autonomous hardware. Right. So cool that like this Peloton thing could work for existing diesel structure as well. And as long as it's saving energy, I'm for it. Like if you're burning 10% less fossil fuel, that's good. Actually, in total, it'd be what, 14%? Yeah, and that's just two trucks. Imagine, so uh, explain to me why you're getting this magical benefit. What, why all of a sudden does the front truck and the back, I mean, I understand the back truck. We've drafted behind trucks and I understand you're in his wake. Right. And so there's like a void. But why does the front truck get a 4.5% increase? Basically, you're helping to push him. So when, you, when you're when you drafting behind Wait, a truck, you put, you're, you're in not a, touching him. No, so you're in a the... low pressure zone. Uh -huh. There's a low pressure zone behind the truck. Okay. And so you're kind of sucked into it. Okay. Um, but if you t if you absolutely just let go of the throttle or whatever, you would get fall out of it. Right. Because you're actually adding a bit of en energy in to stay in there, you're pushing that bubble that a uh, low. No way. And it, and it actually yeah affects the front truck quite a bit, four and a half percent. Wow. So you're both helping each other. It's in both of their interests to be convoying. Even if you're two different companies, it's still beneficial to both. Right. And so I think. Tesla's going to be pretty interested in looking at working with slash buying out Peloton. Now, I hear a lot of people when they talked about the convoy thing, they wrote and said, this is dangerous. 
Uh, when trucks are like that on the road, you can't get up to the exit if you're a car. Right. I think that's fair. It, it, and they show this in the Peloton Right. Thing. This, uh, this challenger comes up and wants to basically exit. Mm -hmm. And when he does get in between the two trucks, what happens? The Peloton automatically dis disables, gives the, the car plenty of space. And then he can exit or whatever needs right. to do. I mean, I think that people sort of think that once something is, um, you know, being in autopilot or something that it's just like locked in and that, you know, as if and chains were, were between the two trucks. And they also act the... like there's no space at all. Right. There's plenty of space um, if you right. need to and, exit. And you put your blinker on, you know, for people on the road, um, I know it's probably a worse problem in Massachusetts, but you put your blinker on. Wait a minute. And then no, we don't do that in Massachusetts. You no. put your blinker on and then you giving, let people in. That would be giving away what you're going to do next. Right. you got to keep that a secret, Jesse. Until the didn't, very end. Didn't I teach you that? Yeah. No, it's, it's very true. It depends on where you are. But Here's the other point, though. If you want to exit and the trucks are in the right lane, you're in the left lane, and your exit's on the right, why not just slow down? Go behind the trucks that are convoying and take your exit. Right. It's not going to be a 14 mile long convoy. Right. It's going to be like three trucks. I mean, is it all because you guys don't want to slow down? Is that what it is? I, I mean, don't know what the... They're not going to keep you from exiting if you slow down. Right. Or just get a really, really low car and then like in all the all the action movies, just go in between, underneath, <laughs> right? The Roadster. The Roadster would probably be able to do that. It's going to be really cool. That would be a button you could push on it. I'm, I'm going to... We should... <laughs> when we have the semi... Right? When we have the semi and yeah. we have the roadster. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> that's a video that we should do that's going to be crazy. Uh, CGI that one. Yeah, I don't think I want to try that. I do. That's going to be crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everybody. You know, I want to remind you guys that we are a little crazy. We are trying to get, and we are going to get, the Tesla Semi. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people have started to email me like, I thought you were kidding, but then you kept saying it. So are you serious? Yes, we're dead serious. Yeah. It's a truck. Who's, is there a law that you can't buy a truck? No, no. there's no law. We're no. going we're gonna to get the Tesla Semi. Yeah, we'll get licensed. We'll do whatever we have yeah. to do. Why are we doing this? Some people then ask the second question. Why are you doing it? Well, yes, we're crazy. We've established that. But it's because we want to drive it to you in the country. Right. I mean, we can't probably get it across the pond to Europe or to China, but we can definitely get it around the United States and, and Canada and right. parts of Mexico. We want to bring it to some EV shows. I mean, yeah. we want to show that this stuff's possible. We want to be drag racing with this truck. Yes. I want, we want to be I doing, wanna, I want to pull things. Yeah, I want to drag race like a Honda Civic because like this truck is going to be able to do zero to 60 in five seconds. That's true. That's the same as the Model 3. That'd be fun. And I want to put a customized trailer on the back that has all sorts of cool goodies and fun things to I show want, you, like I want solar. a ton of of trailers yes. and stuff. So if you have ideas, we're going to need your ideas and your yeah. help. So start putting them in the comments below about what you want to see us do with the semi truck. Right, and how you want us to raise the money. Right. Um, so we are definitely coming up with ideas um, for cool like stuff like hats and, and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. we also want to like come meet you in the truck. And so if you're if you think that's something you'd like to do, please comment below about like, hey, uh, we'd like you to come meet us mm -hmm. or we'd like to name the truck or we'd like to come sit in the truck. Yeah, so, I think Trucky McTruck face is pretty much off the table at this point. Yeah, no. Sorry. I don't want to name it that. Um, but other we should than get that, veto power. we do have veto power. Yes. I think that that's just, yeah, sorry. Definitely, we want to bring the truck to you, show it off, have fun. That's going to be lots of good fun events to do. So keep that in mind and uh, you can go over to Patreon anytime you want and support us and that will get us towards the truck because I have already started saving. We should start a little uh, thing in the videos where Swear we put, jar. Where we put a, a truck and then we just show how much we're filling up the, the truck with. Or how far the truck is going. Right. Or something. Yeah. We'll have to think of some cool graphic. I'm sure the boys will help us with mm -hmm. that. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Now you know.